Fair evaders attacked Christopher Day not once, but twice as he drove his bus. The first time happened last October at 82nd and Powell. A man who paid 60 cents instead of the full fare of $2.50 decided he wanted his money back. Christopher said the fare box was locked and called dispatch as the man got more angry. While I was talking to dispatch, he became more irate and that's when he sucker punched me in the face. That punch broke his cheekbone in four places. He couldn't eat solid food for a month and a half. He says drivers are on their own when dealing with the public. We're out there alone and uh, I mean the quickest I've ever had emergency response, I would say three minutes and a lot happens in that three minutes. Attacks on bus drivers happened across the country. Four months ago here in Portland, TriMet changed its policies to try and protect its drivers, telling them not to argue with customers no matter what they pay, even if they refuse to pay. They're directed to simply push a button on their computer screen reporting a fair evasion. The button's always been there, now it's being used more. In January, drivers pushed it a little more than 30,000 times. Last month, the number had climbed to nearly 60,000. TriMet considers that a success. We are encouraged that we have operators reporting fare evasion more with the change in standard operating procedure rather than escalating something that may lead to an assault. But the agency, by our estimate, is losing between a half million and a million dollars with the fare evaders. Some fellow riders are outraged. The buses are here to help everyone, so if we don't do our part in paying the fare, what do we expect? And that change in policy, by the way, did not protect Christopher Day. His second attack happened at the end of May, three months after the new policy. He was punched in the same side of the face and is now out of work, recovering again. An obvious question in all this, why doesn't TriMet put more fare inspectors on the buses to catch people who are fare evading? Well, they used to, but after that nasty knife attack on the MAX train, the inspectors were told were put onto the trains, and so there's not routine inspections anymore. Sarah Roth from KGW.com, my colleague, dug up and broke this story. We encourage you to go to KGW.com where you can read an in-depth version that she's posted there. Back to you.